good morning everyone i hope you're all really well welcome back to a brand new video i am just enjoying my third coffee of the morning and it's half past nine I need all the energy I can possibly get this morning. Um, it's currently Sunday morning and I'm planning to have just like a really productive Sunday. I've got a super busy but very, very fun week planned the upcoming week. So I kind of just want to spend today organising, cleaning um, and getting bits done that I would normally do in the week. I do usually quite like to have a Sunday as a bit of a chill day, go for a nice walk. Uh, maybe go to the beach but I just feel like I would really benefit from having a productive day today and I know that I will thank myself for it in the week when the house just feels lovely and fresh. Um, I feel like I tend to have so much more of a productive day or week when my surroundings are nice and clean and tidy. So yeah I've just made myself a cleaning list because I find it helps me so much um, it just helps me stay motivated, helps me stay on track, and it's really satisfying to tick everything off as well. Um, and it kind of just stops me from procrastinating, giving up, getting distracted, and I kind of like, I like to kind of like set myself a bit of a timer um, and try and get the list done as quickly as possible. So it just helps me do that. And yeah, I've kind of given myself like all day, um, to just clean today i haven't got anything else planned apart from i've got a food shop coming this afternoon um and then this evening i'm going to reward myself with a lovely bubble bath and i'm actually going to vlog every day this week and i'm going to create like a weekly vlog but in two separate vlogs so i'm going to vlog today and tomorrow um and then tuesday i'm going to have like as an admin day i've got loads of like just bits and pieces to do on tuesday work-wise so i kind of want to like cram all of that in on that day and then wednesday thursday friday i'm going to vlog as well so yeah very very excited to spend the entire week with you guys as always it feels so nice to just be able to chat to you each day and i feel like i'm actually doing interesting things this week so we're going to Primark tomorrow which I'm really really looking forward to actually I'm going for afternoon tea with my sister on Wednesday which will be so nice um, for like a little late birthday present and then on Thursday it's actually my mum's birthday um, and I'm gonna take her to the beach fingers crossed the weather will be nice so I'm gonna put together like a little surprise picnic um, and I've got her some really lovely presents so I can show you guys them. So my loves, before we get into a cleaning sesh, it is a brand new month which means I have a brand new Glossy Box to unbox with you guys. And if you haven't heard of Glossy Box before, they are an amazing monthly subscription service. And each month you will receive a beautiful box to your door which is filled with beauty, skincare or hair care products. And every single box is always worth over £50. So this is this month's beautiful box. It's called the let the sunshine box which is so cute it's so summery every single glossy box that you receive to your door will be beautifully packaged like this one it makes such a gorgeous treat for someone but also such a lovely treat to yourself each month so as always in your glossy box you'll receive a little leaflet with some information about each of the products and on the back of this month's leaflet there's actually a sneak peek for June's box and it's called Dreaming of Paradise and June's box is going to include lots of summery bits including this Nip and Fab Illuminating Vitamin C Scrub. So make sure you subscribe so you can get your hands on this box and also June's box. The themed boxes do tend to sell out really, really quickly, so it's best to subscribe. And also if you subscribe today and use the code Gemma, you will get a free box worth over £75, which is amazing. So inside this month's box, we have got some lovely summery goodies. So first things first, we have some lemon shower gel, which looks amazing. And this is a full size product and it's worth £5.70. Next, we have a Mind Tan Rapid Recovery After Sun Gel, which is a Dulux sample and it's worth £13.35. Then we also have this Smudge Proof Eyeliner, which is full size and it's actually worth £18. Oh wow, this is so pretty. It's almost like a, a really sparkly eyeliner that would look so nice on your bottom lash line to add a little bit of shimmer, especially in the summer, or this would also look really nice in the inner corner of your eye. Then we also have some Rodial Dragon's Blood eye masks. Um, these look so nice, I'm excited to use these, and these are worth six pounds, and they're also a full-size product. And then last, but definitely not least, we have a Lottie London foil eyeshadow. 
this looks so pretty oh my god that would be so nice for summer i love these because i find they're just so pigmented i'm gonna swatch this because i know that it's gonna be amazing oh my god that is so nice that would look so nice with like a really glowy skin and then this on your eyelids that would look so summery and lovely and this is actually a full size product and it's worth £6.95 so that is everything in this month's glossy box it looks amazing as always I will leave my discount code on screen and also I'll leave a direct link for glossy box in the description box down below so on today's cleaning list we have put the washing away I washed like all of the towels and dressing gowns and stuff like that the other day so they have been airing and they need putting away I also am going to put another wash on as well um, I've kind of got like through all of the washing this week which I'm very happy about so I've just got one more load to do which I'll pop on today and then hang out later I also need to clean out the fridge I've been really really lazy with that this week and and it just needs a real good organize and clean then I've got sort out the spice cupboard, it's a mess again. The spice cupboard is just my arch nemesis. And I also need to sort out the utility baskets. Um, they've just become like a little bit full and they could do with an organise. Then I need to clean the kitchen, so that's like everything. Wiping down the sides, cleaning the cupboards, cleaning the sink, doing like the dining area, the mirrors. Um, and generally just give everywhere a clean. Then I need to hoover um, the kitchen, the hallway and the living room and also the stairs actually as well which is a little bit down here then i need to spruce up the living room so that's like dusting everywhere um giving the sofa a spray and also just kind of like cleaning over all the surfaces then i'm going to clean the bathrooms give upstairs a little spruce and then i want to declutter and put everything away i find this one is probably like the most helpful one for me mentally because I find when everything's in its place and it's like a way I just feel so much better about life so I like to do this every time I've kind of like had a cleaning day I like to go around and just make sure that everything is away um and the house just feels really nice and fresh my two little darlings are enjoying hello a little bit of fresh air this morning <laughs> I can't wait for them to just have a really big run where they can just enjoy the summer and have all the fresh air. Hello my darlings, hello. <laughs> the past few washes I've done, I've used this Comfort um, Fresh Sky Fabric Conditioner and oh my goodness, I washed our bedding with this last week and, and it's just the best. Oh my God, it makes your clothes and bedding and towels just smell so lovely. This is definitely one of my favorites. And then I just use one of the Ariel Lenore All-In Pods, which I also love. most annoying things these bloody nets oh my god like i make a hole in the net obviously to get the lemons out and every time there's just like a few lemons left i can never find the original hole i made like this happens every single time every single time i just found the hole after like 10 minutes of being like where is it i'm actually embarrassed of myself at this point found a disgusting mouldy orange. Ew. This is probably one of the most boring things that will ever come out of my mouth, but there truly is no better feeling than cracking open a fresh new minky. It's just nothing quite like it. I'm also just about to clean the sink with this. This is one of my favorite cleaning products ever. The smell of this is just, oh, it's so nice. And 
I literally have like the dregs of this left. Um, I'm gonna need to go on the hunt for another one of these this week. I might pop over to B&M at the end of this week to stock up because this is the best scent ever. So flora of choice is of course springtime This is the most perfectly timed food delivery. We've just received this and I've just finished cleaning, which is perfect. So this week's little top up of food shopping is from Ocado. I picked up quite a few new bits actually this week. So over here we just got all of fresh fruit, avocados, got some goat cheese because I'm, as you guys know, trying new vegetarian recipes and I wanna make a flatbread that has like Mediterranean veg and, and goat cheese. Um, and then I also got lots of tomatoes because I want to make the feta and tomato TikTok pasta again really soon because that was one of my favorite recipes ever. Then I've got some halloumi um, because I've found loads of recipes with halloumi in. I found this gigantic hummus, which I'm excited about because we get through these so quickly um, and I find myself having to buy these all the time. So I thought if I get a slightly bigger one, it should last a little bit longer. This is my favorite hummus in the whole world. Um, as you guys know, I've been having loads of like smoothie bowls. So I love granola to go on top of those. So I thought I'd try this one because I liked how sort of chunky the granola looks. I love like nutty, chunky granola. I love this dark chocolate and cherry granola. It's amazing. Got some Cheerios and also, I've never tried this one before, so I'm excited to try this Country Crisp with Juicy Flame Raisins. Then I also picked up some red pepper and apricot falafels because they sounded amazing. And I forgot how much I actually just love having these in the fridge. So I got two packs of those. Got some more hummus chips because hummus chips are life. I've never tried the chili and lemon ones either. Chocolate rice cakes bagel thins love these with like a little fried egg and avocado on the bagel that's really yum then i got some flatbreads to be fair i was expecting these to be the little little fat flatbreads but they're a little bit different to what i thought but i can still make some nice wraps out of those and then i also picked up these burrito wraps because i want to make some breakfast burritos then i also got some pitas to go with the hummus some sourdough to make some yummy sandwiches and also some fresh pasta to go for just like a really easy dinner one night. Please excuse the absolute state of my hair. I look like I've been dragged for a hedge. I'm all cleaned out. Um, oh my God, it feels so good to just have everything like done. Um, I feel really good about the new week now um, that I've just got all of the cleaning done and washing done and it just feels really lovely and fresh. It smells amazing. I still have my Zoflora in the sink so the whole house just smells so lovely and fresh and I'm really happy that I decided to do this today actually um, because that's just one less thing to worry about this week. So 
that makes me happy it is now four o'clock so i've been cleaning for pretty much all day my plan for now is i'm going to put the food shopping away and then i'm going to make us like an early dinner late lunch today um i'm going to make toasted sandwiches with the sourdough bread because so i've seen this recipe on um, pinterest that i've literally been craving for the past few days and it was like a toasted sandwich with sourdough bread and it had halloumi hummus um avocado and falafel and it just looked amazing so i'm gonna make one of those for us both um and then i'm gonna have a lovely bath and then we're probably gonna get into bed and watch a film um because we're having an early dinner i'll probably make us like a nice big fruit fruit platter um later to have whilst we watch our film but productive day and i'm feeling so good if you've been putting off cleaning for a while this is your sign to just get it done because you'll feel so good once it's finished <laughs> slight change of plan the bread was a little bit too small to make a sandwich so I just made some toast and then popped some hummus on top I fried some halloumi we've got the falafel we have got the avocado and I also drizzled a little bit of olive oil over the top yummy out of bed now <laughs> it's time to get out of bed now <laughs> you want me to tuck you in Are you too cozy today you want to have a bank holiday monday lion okay then <laughs> okay then good morning everyone it's bank holiday monday i'm currently in a very long queue for starbucks and we are heading over to primark today which i'm really really looking forward to i am in the right mental state to tackle primark i feel like sometimes primark isn't one of those shops personally i can just go into and like have like a a little mooch and a little browse like i i have to plan a trip to primark and i have to feel ready so i'm heading over to the rushton lakes primark today purely because i find it just a really nice experience like it's always really tidy it's very spacious i find they're always changing their stock as well um they've got quite like a big home department as well um whereas the one in peterborough i'm not gonna lie i don't really ever go into that one purely because i find it's very like crammed and very busy um and their home section they pretty sure they've had the same stock there for about five years so we're heading over to russian lakes which is about a 45 minute drive um it is currently noon it's 12 o'clock this morning i have just been doing a few work bits i had a few campaigns to shoot i had to do some stories and an instagram post for amazon fashion i've got some amazing new bits from amazon fashion i'm gonna collect a few more bits and put together a little amazon fashion haul for you guys because they've got some really lovely bits in at the moment yeah i've been a busy bee this morning um i'm actually starving now and tuna melt paninis from starbucks are one of life's best creations they're so yummy so i think i might get coffee and a tuna melt and park up and eat that and then i'll feel fueled i'll feel very fueled for our little shopping day today do you know what i was thinking last night actually i've been buzzing to come to primark honestly last night i was like oh we'll go to primark tomorrow i've been really excited um I was thinking last night as much as i love like girl shopping days and going shopping with my friends and my mum and going shopping with jamie there is nothing quite like an alone shopping trip 
I just find it really therapeutic, like going on a little date day with yourself, getting a little bit of lunch, getting a coffee, having a mooch around the shop. So I just find it really, really nice. So yeah, I'm very excited for our little shopping day today. Uh, hi, could I please have a um, an Americano with oat milk? So get a tuna melt panini. Yeah, did you want any sugars in the Americana? Um, no, thank you. No worries. Anything else for you? No, thank you. No worries, I'll see the window. Thank you. Got the goods. I've just parked up to eat my panini and something terrible has dawned on me. Guys, I'm meant to be... Uh, what? I'm meant to be trying vegetarianism and here I am with tuna and and fish is the one thing that I said I wouldn't eat and now like I actually feel like part of me there is a part of me that wants to eat it because I love tuna melt paninis but I feel really disappointed in myself because I didn't even think it wasn't even that I was like oh I want to eat fish today I genuinely went back to my old fish eating ways and just ordered it without even thinking um I've actually done some I feel bad. Just eat the tuna panini, Gemma. You've eaten meat your whole life. Little update, actually, on me trying to be vegetarian. I haven't eaten meat since last Sunday. So a week and a day. I have actually really, really enjoyed it. Like, I haven't missed meat at all. It's been different because I was saying to Jamie, like, the only real thing that's hard is I just... It's habit. Like, I'm so used to cooking with chicken but we tried so many different um like chicken replacements and they've been really young and i made a few vegetable curries last week and i'm really really enjoying it today's an exception um because i didn't actually mean to order this and it smells delightful so, so i'll forgive myself one day mm. 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 yum i've just got an uber eats notification your order is on the move because when i was in the queue for starbucks i'd just gone past the little delivery window and jamie rang me and i was saying how like huge the starbucks queue was yeah he was really sad because he really wanted a tuna melt panini and then i felt really bad because i hadn't even offered to like get him one and drop it off because i'm going back past my house to go to Russian lakes um so i ordered him one on uber eats and it should be arriving very soon so that'll be a nice little surprise for him parked in a different um car park to eat this because there was just too many people parked up in the other starbucks and there is nothing worse when you want to enjoy your food and people are watching you eat there's just nothing worse thought so, you know what i just want to enjoy my tuna melt in peace also who watched line of duty last night the last episode line of duty is like one of my favorite series ever one of my top top favorites like it's up there with breaking bad if you haven't seen line of duty you need to watch all of the seasons you need to watch i think there's like six seasons it's such a good watch it's like a bbc drama oh hang on jamie's ringing me hello hey hey i got a starbucks i know <laughs> i ordered one because i felt bad <laughs> jamie is really happy with his starbucks which makes me happy i'm glad that i did that but if you haven't seen line of duty or you haven't watched sunday's episode do not watch this part i'll pop a little timestamp on screen now um of the bit of the part of the video that you need to skip to because i do not want to spoil it for anyone and it's the most annoying thing ever when you like hear a spoiler or something so yeah if you haven't seen line of duty or you haven't watched the last episode skip this part warning warning i'm about to talk about the ending and if you haven't seen it probably spoil it give you guys a few seconds to skip i'll take a bite of my tuna melt okay spoiler alert what did you guys think of h now i feel like that was not h I think line of duty production team are just playing us because I just it just can't be I was saying to Jamie it was not like dramatic enough it wasn't final enough like at no point did they say I don't think I'm H or your H or this is H everyone like they never said that so I think there's going to be another um season please 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 be another season and i think 
it's just going to continue like the search for h is going to continue and i think h is going to end up being someone like i did think h was going to be ted purely because i love ted so much and he's so cute and he's so innocent and i was kind of expecting him to like at the end of last night's episode like be like ha i'm h i fooled you all boo, 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 boo. which would break my heart i'm not gonna lie because i do love ted but that would have been like a ending like oh my god ted was h like he orchestrated everything or if someone like real goody two shoes like steve arnott was h like that would have been such a good ending so yeah you guys don't worry because he wasn't h he cannot be he wasn't even in like every he wasn't even in like every season ian buckles ian buckles who like you're not h ian buckles i think his name was ian buckles embarrassing if it's not ian buckles before we settled down and watched line of duty last night we were kind of like finalizing Earl of muse photo shoot bits oh my god so excited we have booked the most beautiful photo location um we actually went to view it on friday and oh my god it's so so nice and yeah just everything all of a sudden has come together the launch is so soon um and i'll be able to tell you guys exactly when the launch is really soon a supplier has actually just gone into another full lockdown um so the reason we haven't given a launch date just yet is because the last thing we want to do is promise you guys something that isn't like 1000 percent confirmed um so we'll be able to talk about a launch date really really soon but trust me when i say it's very soon we're just kind of like finalizing a lot of things and um, doing a lot of finishing touches and yeah the photo shoot is going to be amazing Got five incredible models who i'm so excited to meet and i'm just really excited guys i also want to say thank you so much to everyone who applied to be a girl of muse model um we've actually kept you all on file we've got all of your information and we're going to be having so so many more photo shoots going forward so yeah like i said we've kept you on file and thank you all so much for applying it was really really hard choosing models actually i just want you all to be models for girl of news um but yeah really exciting times ahead i felt kind of like a bit emotional last night because i was like oh my god like everything is coming together also let me know if you'd like me to vlog behind the scenes um, of the photo shoot the photo shoot is actually next week so it's really soon so as i'm sat here there seems to be some kind of actual storm broken out it's raining so hard i am gonna head to primark i'm gonna pop a playlist on i'm gonna sip my coffee and i will see you guys when we arrive at primark here we are can you see all of those <laughs> people with lots of umbrellas standing outside of primark the queue is humongous it comes all it comes all out the door round three times and then down there um but it's super cute because they're giving everyone these clear umbrellas okay my plan is i've been sat here for about 10 minutes hoping praying that the rain would stop just a little bit it has actually stopped quite a lot when i first arrived it was full-on completely hammering it down um so i'm gonna give it 10 more minutes hopefully it will stop but if not i've luckily just found a hoodie in the back so i can pop it on underneath this and then pop my hood up i'll have to tie my hair back as well why i bothered to do my hair and makeup today i have no idea i'm ready for primark i feel like i look like i'm about to go and rob a bank or something i look like i should be on line of duty <gasps> maybe i'm h anyway right I've been procrastinating for a good half an hour now. Thank God it's like kind of stopped raining. It's like spitting a tiny bit. The queue's going down. It's going to be a successful Primark trip. Okay, so as you first come in, there's lots of like pastel colours. There's lots of yellows and greens and blues. I love this dress here. This is the first thing that I've seen. I love this like puff sleeved just very lightweight floaty dress this is 13 pounds i feel like that would look so nice with a straw hat and some sandals i feel like that's going to be what i say everything looks nice with today but i love this off the shoulder and it feels like a really lovely cool lightweight material also i think these jeans are new these are the vintage straight leg jean and they're high-waisted they look like the mom style jeans which are also really lovely from primark and these are only 15 pounds and they've also got as well like a cut off hem as well which i think looks really cute and then we've also got some fitted trousers here i love this color i've actually just seen over there a blazer that matches these which i think would be the perfect spring outfit there's only a few sizes left of these 
but these are £15. They also have some similar in blue, which I think would look really cute with like a white body and white heels. And also this little top as well. They have got some Perspex heels. I like the minimalist kind of strap. They've got low, I've seen actually loads of really lovely sandals about which I'll show you. And then this is the blazer, which matches the trousers. I love the belt. I love this like, like a very muted yellow. It is 23 pounds. And then also this really pretty floral top as well. This is kind of like the um, print that H&M have in at the moment. 11 pounds. I think them two go really nicely together. And then we have some more yellow over here. I love this dress. I love these like really floaty layered dresses at the moment. I just think they look so nice. Bow detail at the back, which I think will look so nice. Also have a little denim dress down here, which is £15. And it also has a belt as well. And then there's also kind of like linen paper bag shorts as well, which I love. A little blue blouse. It's like a cross detail with puff sleeves. I think that would look so nice with some white jeans. Oh, cute. They've got a top version of the dress that I showed you guys over there. I love this. And then they've also got this white skirt, which would look really lovely with one of these tops. And these lovely tops actually have the same pretty bow on the back and these are nine pounds. And then this floaty skirt is 13 pounds. And then these dresses actually remind me of the girls' girls' dress from Lorna Lux's In The Style range. Very, very similar. And these are only 15 pounds. I think that would be such a nice, easy thing to wear in the summer. I love the ruffled sleeves. I think this detail just looks so pretty. This is cute. It's a little sweater, but the sleeves and the neck are knitted, which I think is really different and looks really cosy. Perfect for a rainy day like today. They also have as well these oatmeal joggers with the turned up hem that look really nice. These feel nice and lightweight, so I feel like they'd be perfect for spring, summer. These are 10 pounds. They also have quite a few colors, actually. They've got this kind of like aqua blue color, which is 10 pounds. A grey, a lilac, um, oh cute, this comes as a tracksuit. So there's the Mac Chin joggers as well, which look really nice and high-waisted with the cuffed bottoms. Okay, so I found a few really lovely, like floaty white dresses that are like a midi length. So there's this one that's got quite thick straps and a square neck, like this. And then there's also a slightly different material one that looks slightly different material one with thinner straps and they're adjustable as well. This one is £15 and this one is also £15. There's actually loads of different kind of like slightly different styles of this on this rail. Like this one here is a really soft, almost like jersey material. Whereas I feel like this one is a little bit more linen-y. dress is so cute. I love the colour of this. It's got a v-neck and it's £15 mid-length. And because of this detail here, I feel like it would look really flattering on because it's kind of like quite A-line. Oh, cute. I love all of the tones on this wall. This play suit looks unreal. Little denim play suit I love almost like the drop shoulder and the quite oversized sleeve and then also got an elastic band around the waist so I feel like that will look really really flattering and this is 17 pounds and there's also some more floaty dresses love these I feel like I'm gonna live in floaty dresses this year and this is almost like a nude and white stripe detail you've got this little bow detail here a nice big detailed sleeves. This is 15 pounds. They've got loads of sizes of this one left. Um, I found the sizes have actually been quite scarce today. Also, these trousers. These are like a faux, almost like a faux leather. I feel like these never go out of fashion. Perfect for autumn, perfect for spring as well before it gets too hot. This little nude waistcoat is so cute. 23 pounds, I feel like this would look so nice with some white jeans and a little body underneath for like a little girls drinks and lunch 
love this dress. This is so similar to one that I got from H&M, which you guys would have saw in my last haul. But I feel like I like the style of this one a little bit more. I love the square neck and I love about these as well. You can like pull them off the shoulder. The pattern is so pretty. And this is £13, which is absolutely unreal. I love these details on it as well. I feel like I might get this because it's just so pretty and so summery. And then this top is really pretty as well. I love like the ruffled details and I love the halter neck love this blazer there's not actually many of these left um so i feel like they might be old stock because they're in like the old stock section but i love the colors on this it's very autumn and this is 20 pounds these trousers feel lovely they're like super lightweight they are 10 pounds they look like they're going to be super high waisted as well I really love those, feel like they'd look really nice with a white blouse. There's also down here a little belted like waistcoat which I think is cute. And then there's also these like leather converse looking shoes. It's a very sad day because all of the pyjamas are not very nice today apart from these. These are organic, they feel so nice. And you get this long sleeved top in the pack and also some pajama bottom trousers which feel really lovely and this set is 12 pounds amazing because you obviously get your top and bottoms as well and they feel like really soft The home section genuinely looks like it's been ransacked. <laughs> There's nothing left. I'm so sad. There's like nothing left on any of the shelves. Nothing left but some baskets and a candle. Oh, sad times. <gasps> Actually, these look unreal. These are little room sachets. And don't you think that looks like White Company? These are really brilliant just to like pop in your underwear drawer or pop, you can hang them like in your wardrobe on a hanger and they make all of your clothes smell really nice. These baskets are quite nice. They like pull out to be quite big, like so these middle bits pull out and they're only eight pounds and they're white on the other side. So when they're pulled out, they'll be like two tone, white and brown. I think they're really nice and I think you'll be able to fit loads in there for storage. These little eucalyptus reefs are quite cute. They're five pounds. I mean, I don't know where you'd hang it, but I feel like they're actually quite cute. If you've got a few of them, maybe a little bit thicker because I feel like one on its own is a little bit skinny, but you could kind of like entwine them together, make it a little bit thicker. So we have finished in Primark. Oh my God, it's raining so much still. Do I look like Hagrid yet? I feel like, oh well, wow, now I look like Hagrid. Um, let me get in the car and then I'll chat to you. Oh. I'm back in the warm, back in a lovely warm car. I'm gonna put my heated seat on, full blast. I really hope you guys enjoyed that little mini new in Primark. I'm sorry it wasn't that long, but Primark had literally been ransacked. Like there was nothing left. There was nothing left in any sizes. There was no new bits in the home department after me bigging it up earlier. Um, I guess today must have just been, maybe this whole weekend has been really, really busy. Um, but I shall come back in i shall come back either at the end of may or in june and i'll show you guys around then i haven't done a new in primark and like primark haul as kind of like a separate video purely because i am trying at the moment just to film content that i really really love and i really enjoy days in the life vlogs like i just love filming them I love being able just to chat to you guys on the daily. I love being able to do cozy homely content and popping out to the shops if I feel like it. And I feel like having YouTube as a job, you truly do need to love what you film. And the thought of rushing out to Primark to film a new in and a haul as soon as it opened a few weeks ago kind of just gave me really bad anxiety. And I'm really just trying to look after myself mentally at the moment and just film things that make me happy. And these vlogs 
vlogs make me happy it's so nice to just be able to have you guys with me for the entire day and just to be able to chat to you like it truly is like chatting to my friends i love it and today's been really lovely as well because although i've come shopping on my own i feel like i've been with you guys like it's just been so nice and yeah i feel like going forward majority of my videos are going to be vlogs just because i love them so much and you guys seem to really enjoy them as well and also over the next few months our lives are going to be ridiculously busy with moving house and um the brand so i feel like vlogs are just going to be a really nice way to catch up whilst our lives are kind of busy which will be really nice as soon as we get a moving day i will let you guys know and i've got loads of really fun like moving vlogs planned um which i'm really excited for i'm really excited for a new chapter and just a new start i feel like it'll be really really lovely so my loves it is now quarter past four today has absolutely flown by um i am gonna pop over to costa which i can see in the distance and get a nice cold drink i haven't drank any water today which is so unlike me um and i think because i'm at home all the time I, I drink over three liters of water a day and i'm so used to this sounds really silly being able to go to the toilet whenever i need to because when i drink three liters of water i need a wee like probably every 20 minutes to half an hour and too much information but i've got a very weak bladder so i don't tend to drink water when i'm on days out in the fear that i'm gonna need the toilet and at rushton lakes there's literally one toilet which is all the way over there so i'm gonna go get myself a nice drink then i'm gonna head home i'm probably gonna not i'm probably not gonna get home until about half five six because the roads were super busy on the way here um and i'm gonna pop to mum's this evening as well so i'm gonna end this vlog here i am going to be vlogging again on wednesday thursday and friday and we've got some really fun things planned at the end of this week so i'm super excited to take you guys along with me thank you so much for watching i really hope you have enjoyed this video i love you all so much and i'll see you on wednesday bye